Welcome! In this movie we will demonstrate how to define a screen layout in PDS 2000 and how to define the use views for a Blueview Sonar project. See the other movies how to set up a PDS project and how to use the views when operating PDS. Before we start the movie there is an important amendment notification to be made. In this movie the obstacle avoidance view is used. However from PDS 2000 version 3923 the obstacle avoidance view is replaced by the sonar wedge view. The behavior of this view is exactly the same. When a project is created we can start real time. Real time will start with an empty screen layout. So we have to define our screen layout. We will start with adding a special view, that is the blue view configuration view. This has to be added on a different place as the other views. Click tools to add this configuration view. With the configuration view we are able to control the blue view solar. Click equipment control. Now you can add the Sona Configuration Blue View view. The Configuration view is added in the screen layout. Some Sona controls are hidden behind the Advanced Settings. Tick the checkbox Advanced Settings. So now we are able to control some important Sona settings from PDS 2000, a nice feature. From the recording menu we are able to record sonar files, not PDS files. I will discuss this later. The other views are added in the normal way you normally add views for PDS 2000. So for this right click in the empty space of the screen layout. Right click in the appeared context menu at add display and select the view you like to add. So for example a obstacle avoidance forward looking view. And this view is added to the screen layout. A other way to add views to the screen layout is by the view menu. Click add display and select from the appeared context menu the view you like to add. So if I select here obstacle avoidance forward looking view, it is added as well at the screen layout. We will add some more views, so I right click again at the empty space of the screen layout. And let's say we like to add a numeric standard view. And we do the same. And we add a raw data standard view as well. And let me also add a plan view a navigation view. So we select this also. And let's say a 3D view online. Select all views you like to add to the screen layout. So all views I like to have are now all stacked together at the screen layout as you can see. Of course we like to order them nicely in the screen layout. For this purpose we are using the docking feature of PDS 2000. Right click in the views taskbar and select dock to. Let's say the right, and the view is docked to the right. Or right click, docked to top. Now the view is docked at the top, as you can see. We can put them together by drag and drop. So we can right click, dock to left. Now the view is docked to the left. And let's say the configuration will also dock to the left. And then we drag it 
to the numeric view that they are all together. The last view, the plan view navigation, for example, we can just maximize to fill it completely the screen layout. So now we have a nice screen layout with views which are docked. Click File to save your layout. You can save your layout as a preset. This preset layout can be opened by one of the icons. You can also save your layout under a different name. Click Save Layout as. And enter a name. When multiple screens are connected to the computer, presentations can be defined. Right click in the PDS 2000 Connections view to add a presentation. We see here a presentation layout. So a presentation is nothing more as an additional screen layout you can use on a different monitor connected to the computer. So you can drag the screen layout to a different monitor. You can define a different screen layout for a presentation screen or open a existing screen layout. So if I make a different screen layout, I can save it under a different name. You have to realize that every change you make in the screen layout will be saved automatically in the current opened layout. We close the presentation layout. So now our screen layout is defined, but now we have to set up our views. So let's start with setting up the numerical standard view. The numeric standard view contains numerical data, but it is currently empty. So we have to add data to it. For this purpose I need the raw data standard view which is currently hidden behind the plan view navigation. We can make this view visible by clicking Windows. And we select raw data standard. And now the raw data standard view is on top of the plan view navigation view. With the raw data standard view, you can see all computations, device data and data sources as used in PDS 2000. And green thing means that it is OK. We can now just drag and drop a item from the device data into the numerical standard view. So, for example, the GPS latitude. And we drag this into the numerical standard view. The numeric page needs to be saved. Give the name and click save. And we see now the latitude is added to the numeric standard view. The same procedure if we like to add, for example, the longitude. 
so we drag the longitude into the numerics view. And there it is. Same for the GPS mode. It is just a matter of drag and drop of a selected item from the raw data standard view. Right click in the numeric standard view to edit the view. Click edit page. Select the field you like to edit, for example the latitude. It gets blue and select properties. If we untick the use default checkbox and we click font, then we can change the font of our text. We can give it a different description. For example, just lot. And now our text has been changed into lot with a different font size and layout. There is no need to see the raw data standard view all the time. So I click Windows again and select the Plan View Navigation. And there we have the Plan View Navigation again. To set up the Plan View Navigation, I click the Layer Control icon. Views in PDS 2000 are built up of different layers, standard layers, and you can also add additional layers to it. So you can click Add. And from the appeared list, you can select a certain layer. So let's say we like to add a grid model layer. So I select grid model layer from the list. From the appeared grid model layer properties dialog box, we have to select which grid model we like to add. Let's take this one. And there she is. Let's zoom in or zoom out a little bit. The grid models must be available in your project. So in the PDS 2000 control center, go to the project menu and click Add Grid Models. There we see the current loaded grid models in the project. We can add a grid model by right click on the grid model folder and select Add Files in the appeared context menu. Refer to the user manual for full details. Do the same procedure if you like to add a grid model in a 3D view online view. Et voilà. Just remove for now the grid model from the plan view navigation. We can also add a sonar image layer in the view. So now we have a sonar image layer. 
The properties of each layer can be set by clicking the layer properties icon. The properties of each layer are now accessible. So also for the sonar image layer. We can set for example the transparency. Adjust the slider. Click apply. And we see the transparency have been changed. Do the same if you like to change the contrast. And the contrast has been changed. Do the same when you like to add a layer in a 3D view online. Click the layer control icon. Click add. And add the sonar wedge layer. The sonar wedge is added to the view. Also the properties can be set by the properties icon. So we can change the contrast for example. So the conclusion is, use the layer control and layer properties to set up your views. So on this way, it is also possible to add S57 navigation charts to the view. Click the layer control icon. And add the S57 chart layer. Select the folder with your S57 charts you like to use, in this case California. The required charts must be available in your project, of course. And now we have an S57 chart as a background layer. Teledyne Resson. Everywhere you look.